Power Rangers is pleased. Big reveal. The big reveal. <laughs> That's a safety driver. It's like watching the Kentucky Derby, right? <laughs> Going the wrong way. everyone it's uh it's my privilege on behalf of the city of stratford invest stratford and all our partners to uh, welcome you to the opening of the renesis uh, test track this uh, john and i were just chatting about this this was less than 11 months ago that uh, i got a call from uh, ross mckenzie and grant corville from q and x and said you know they need a test track can stratford accommodate them? and i think within ross maybe a week uh, we come up with a solution uh, last winter they spent their time down at the Stratford Festival uh, parking lot and over and many of you remember through the fall we had that great Ontario winter you know where one day it was sunny the next day there was sleet then we had snow then it all melted and it was sunny again and over that three month period uh, John and his team and the folks at Watcar from the University of Waterloo and Ross's team had done a great job of uh, preparing the autonomous car to go to the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas the first week of January 2017. And along the way, uh, this car uh, and Renesis, who is the largest automotive chip processing manufacturer in the world, uh, based in Tokyo, research office in Detroit and Palo Alto, uh, who partner, of course, with QNX out of Blackberry of Waterloo and Ottawa and Watcar, had decided that they wanted to come back and do this again. And uh, they contacted the city of Stratford. You're standing on a piece of land that we acquired in 2003 to build storm water ponds. And for the last 14 years, this land has been a dead investment for the city of Stratford. It had nothing on it. It was used as a snow dump throughout the winter. And when John and his team and, and Ross and theirs came back to us and said, we'd like to come back to Stratford, we need to get at least four acres of land and we want to do this for a three year period and continue to evolve our relationship with Invest Stratford and the city and of course Watcar, uh, we, we quickly came to this place and it was an incredible that this investment, which many people saw as a dead investment, now represents what will be in the future a $3 trillion industry in autonomous and connected driving. We're privileged to have uh, so many partners that made this happen on this site. First of all, to my council colleagues, many of them are here. Uh, sometimes we're not the fastest at making decisions, but sometimes we make really great decisions and this is one of those great ones. I have to thank Rob Horn, our CAO, all our administrative team, development services, who did a great job of turning this around quickly. They were supported in private industry, of course, at our friends at Invest Stratford, but at Rhizome and Festival Hydro, at Simply Lines with the lines down, Steve Smith Construction, who did the paving, and of course, uh, uh, MTE, our engineering partners, who helped design the site. This land is leased from the city of Stratford for the next three years. It has lots of room for growth if uh, we need to get there. Uh, this year, this car will be branded with the City of Stratford and Invest Stratford. And uh, Watt Car will be unveiled at CES the first week of uh, January in 2018 in Las Vegas, the largest electronic show in the world. And we'll be front and center with our partners. And uh, I just can't thank uh, all the people that made this happen enough. Uh, often people say, well, what do we get out of this? Well, you're right, today there's not the jobs. You can't point to people. <laughs> We can point to an investment. 
and over uh, time of evolution, uh, this will evolve into being something for the city of Stratford, I think will be uh, a, a milestone and a, mark, a demarcation where we say this is where it started and this is how it did. And I thank John and his partners for making that call a year ago. I want to congratulate you on uh, what is record time in getting this site ready and to JP and your crew and the students, which I think are the most exciting part. They're actually now setting up the GPS to run this. And the students that are here represent some of the brightest minds from the University of Waterloo Engineering Department. And I think you're gonna find that uh, this is the start of something uh, really important in the world. And it's gonna be part of our, our story in Stratford. So thanks so much, John. Couple words that. Um, but it's just, we are so excited and happy about, about this, right? Um, you know, I'll tell you, this stuff we're working on in the car, autonomous driving. It is not easy. You gotta have good chips, good processors, and I think in Francis we have that, but you need a lot more. You need great partners. You need to find people who have a, a passion for autonomous driving, and who have a lot of energy, and in case you can't tell, it kind of describes this guy right here, and everyone in Stratford as well as University of Waterloo. All right, so we're so happy for this. We're so excited just to go after those challenges of autonomous driving, and take them all down one by one. Right here, this is one of the starting points. So thank you again. Oh, now they told us to smash these bottles. Joni's a little worried about uh, glass, so maybe we'll pop. Why don't we pop? Because I'm not sure where we'd smash them. So here we go. We could. I'm not going to spray you. You're not going to spray me. <laughs> last thing to Joni Gerber, Elkie Bidner, Mike Pullen, and all the staff at Invest Stratford. Thank you so much for your leadership and hard work. Uh, I know that uh, they fretted about the deadlines probably just as much as you guys did. So there we go. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh,